Every time you see a dog on the street when you're walking your dog, you're so afraid that some little dog is going to zip out of somewhere, you know, without and catch you by surprise, maybe be on a flexi leash, have no control, and your dog's going to react, and you're so worried that someone is going to get hurt. You, the other dog, or your dog. I'm Karen Laws, the interior dog trainer. And if that sounds like you or a situation you've ever been in, you're in the right place. In this next series of videos, I'm gonna show you one tool that can help you feel better and keep everybody safe. I'm gonna show you one tool that when used, when put on and taught properly, your dog will love it because it will mean that you're going for a walk together and it will help your energy stay where it needs to be nice and calm. And no matter what happens, it will keep everybody safe. And if you do get charged by another dog, it will allow you to know that your dog won't be able to hurt that other dog. But by the same token, your job will be to defend your dog against the oncoming dog. That's where the risk comes in. But this will keep you and your dog out of trouble. So this is step one. We are conditioning Sugar to wear a muzzle so that she can have a lot more freedom in her life without, thank you. Oh yeah, okay, there you go. Yes, I'm just let, I'm putting the smack in the bottom of the muzzle, you can see right in the end, and she's quite comfortable to um, stick her head in there to get that. I'm not trying to do it up, I'm not gonna stress her out, this is only the first time she's done this. And she, you can see she's quite comfortable with it. So what we do is we take a, a portion of what would be her regular meal and now she's working for it by digging in here to get food out of the muzzle yes see she's actually hanging out in there she takes the food yes she's not running away i'm not shoving it at her i'm keeping my hand perfectly still and presenting and that's lesson number one of muzzle conditioning so the muzzle comfort goes in three phases and the first is conditioning just getting her conditioned to put her head in that little space and not feel threatened and not feel stressed or worried. That's that's phase one. And then phase two is we start to put the muzzle together, which in other words, we bring the straps up over her head so she starts to have that little different sensation, that little sense of not being able to back out. I'm just touching the back of her head and that's it. So we're gonna put a little more food in there so she has to stay there a little bit longer. And then I present it this way, yes. Then I just bring the straps up here on her head and I just hold it there, yes. So now it doesn't come off right away and she can't pull out of it, but I don't wait until she's trying to pull out of it. Yes, then I let her back out. So put a little bit more food there so she has to hang out. This is step two. We haven't done it up yet. We're just teaching her how it's going to feel when it does get done up. Whoa, now she's just diving right into it. That's a good girl. Hey, okay. yeah, good job. I'm not interfering, I'm just holding the strap so she feels a little bit of tension there. These are super comfortable muzzles for them. You can see how it goes under her chin and up under her ear. This is not coming off. So you do this two or three times a day, no more than like five minutes, and that's it. And this is part of her regular meal, whether it's her lunch or breakfast or dinner. This is actually part of her dinner. This is the third step and only the second time we've done this third step. Oh, we like that now, eh? Yeah, that's good. So see, would I correct for that jumping? No, because I don't want to confuse the issue. I want her to want this. So I'm not going to, I'm not even going to pay attention to the jumping. She's not a jumper anyway, so I know that was just like a hurry up. Can I have that now? You ready? Let's get dressed. Let her move into it. Good girl. Yay. Oh, good. I'm a little slow getting it done up, so she can. She has a right to be impatient with that. But this isn't tight. Now we just do it up. Boom, there's the buckle. Put it right through full time. That's a good girl. Nice. So that was maybe 10 seconds. This time we'll time it. Oh, you're so good. Yes. This time we'll time it. Yeah. Get dressed. That's a girl. Now I'm going to be a little quicker. Hands off. Stand up straight. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. Very good. Such a good girl. Ah, 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 ah. Look, look. Yes. That's so good. Very good girl. And I'm looking up because up, so I'm looking at the clock. Hey, hey, hey. Nope. Sit. Nice. Good job. I'm going to hold it there. Let her be comfortable. Good girl. It's all right. Easy, easy. That's a girl. That was like 20 seconds. Come to what you want to get dressed. There you go. See, she's got to really step into it. 
then I just put the put the strap through and hold it. Five seconds. Good job. Good job. Yay! So she gets all the praise and all the massage and all the touch, everything that she likes, including the treat, when the muzzle is on her. Now I'm going to take it off. Free. Good girl. And we finish there. So we finish on a good note. I want to end that. I want her thinking all positive things about this muzzle because of what we want to be able to do is have her to a place where she can have this on and just be walking around loose and not even think about it. Because muzzles create calm energy and they keep everybody safe. Doesn't mean she's a bad dog, it means everybody's safe. And that's how we like to do the muzzle, right? Yeah, you want your you want this on now, don't you? Hey, it's a good girl. Easy. Easy. We're gonna go right to it today. That's a girl. I'm gonna do it up. I'm gonna do it up. Then I'm gonna put a long line on. You're alright. You got it? Hey you got it? Get it. That's a girl. You got it? That's a good girl. All right. Yeah, good. Now some fun things are going to happen. Yep. Good job. What do you think? Hey, does that feel pretty good? There you go. Here, come here. I'll put one down the side for you. Yeah. See, we can put it right in the middle here. No, easy, easy. Right in the middle. Oops. Oops. There you go. There you go. See? Yeah, as long as you got that on, good stuff happens. Good stuff happens. There you go. Yeah. Uh-oh. You got it? Here, come here. Come here. Here, no, no. Oh, sugar. See, now you took it out. Now you kicked it out. Here, come here. Sugar. No. No. Hey, hey! See? Because if this isn't going to work, then she's got to go. you got to go back up. That's a girl. Come on over here. Come on. That's a girl. Come on. Sugar, come. Yay. No, sit. Yeah. Josie's not helping, is she, eh? There you go. You don't need knee collar on. You don't need nothing. We're just going to put a long line on for safety, okay? Yeah, you're a good girl. You're a good girl. Okay. No, no, no. That's a girl. Good. You want to go in the backyard? Hey, eh? Come on. Go in the backyard. There you go. Yeah, so we open the door so that it's safe. We got an escape route. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, sugar. Come on. Let's see. We're just reading some body language here. Yeah, see? Move. That's a girl. No, leave that on. You can't come off. Okay, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. No. Be nice. Be nice. That's a good girl. Easy. Easy. That's a good girl. 